We begin with our top story out of Wythe County. They've been called the dogs in a box. 11 dogs living in a shelter that the magistrate's office said recently wasn't adequate. This is a story we've been following for more than a year. Many of you have been concerned about the dogs. A national animal rescue organization called Guardians of Rescue heard about the dogs and wanted to help. WSLS 10's Duke Carter met up with them today. He joins us live outside of our NRV Bureau. What was the organization doing to help Duke? Hey, good evening, Jenna. Workers from the Guardians of Rescue came down from New York to Wythe County, just like you said earlier, to build a new shelter for the 11 dogs. Now, the story grabbed people from everywhere all across the country, and workers from the organization tell me the owner, Michael Thomas, is not a monster, and he truly cares for his animals. Seven dogs used to live in this shelter, a makeshift shelter of boards, pipes, and tarps. But after today, they won't anymore. <laughs> because this man, the president of Guardians of Rescue, Robert Masseri, is constructing a new shelter for the dogs. The new shelter will have a doggy door so they can move in and out freely. We have volunteers coming in, laying down railroad ties, building up barriers so that way the puppies can't dig themselves out. We'll insulate the unit, uh, but not for the summer. Uh, we put some straw down because we don't know how they were living inside that unit. Misery says he found out about the dogs online, as well as officials from Wythe County asking him to help. Well, after an investigation, Misery learned the owner, Mike Thomas, loves his dogs, and he says the dogs are healthy. He made sure these dogs had food and water every day. He made sure he went in and he spent four or five hours a day with these animals. This is not somebody who's neg intentionally neglecting his animals. We tried to get Mike Thomas to give a response to us, but we were informed Thomas suffered a traumatic brain injury and has difficulty communicating. We spoke to neighbors in the area who say Thomas would do anything for his animals. He walks to food country, which is like five miles and gets food and stuff and back. That's for the dogs. The old shelter may not have been in the best condition, but John says people should not judge Thomas based on what they saw. They don't know what goes on out here. They're just hearing stuff, and they don't really know what goes on out here. And uh, they're judging by what they see, and that is not what happens out here. But in the end, Miss Sari is happy the 11 dogs will have a new home. These dogs should not be confiscated. We stepped in, we did the right thing. If we didn't come and do what we did, we're as guilt guilty as the people who are accusing him of being guilty if we don't do something, and we did. Now, the president of Guardian of Rescue tell me the new shelter will co what does cost $7,000. Now, they're not done yet. They will do regular checkups on the puppies, and that includes getting them shots for the rest of their doggy days on this earth. Jenna, back to you.